Ever wonder what it looks like to cut bloop in half? Well, today you're going to find out. Hello, everybody. I'm Kindly Kian, and I'm about to get eaten by a T-Rex. Um, yeah, there's a big dinosaur chasing me. Okay, hey, hey, hey. Um, let's let's talk about this. Okay, yeah, no, you don't want to talk about it. Anyways, um, this is Teardown. You guys probably know the game. You probably have seen me play it before. We're going to be facing down some pretty terrifying prehistoric creatures and perhaps some, uh, some bloops. And megalodons. And we're gonna try to chop them in half. But for now, I'm gonna just spray some spray paint at a T-Rex. Oh my gosh. <laughs> God. Looks like you got like a little mustard on your on your on your lip there, bud. Yeah, you're oh, you need to wipe that off. How are we gonna take care of a T-Rex? We're gonna shoot a fire extinguisher at him. Here. Here you go, bud. Is that good? Is that good? <laughs> it's not working. It's not doing anything. A leaf blower! Oh gosh, oh gosh, okay, yeah, no, you can't really, can't really hide, huh? Yeah, I could just, just get under some of these trees here. Okay, this is not working. Um, I'm a firefighter! Oh my gosh, that's awesome! That is so much water, and he does not care at all! He's about to eat us. I'm stuck on a tree. Please. Please! No! All right, I gotta get out the heavy weaponry. I got a blowtorch. I'm gonna light this guy on fire. Oh gosh. Oh, it's not working. It's not working at all. Okay, perhaps this heavy weaponry wasn't quite heavy enough. Listen, I will use this if I have to. Please, just, can we talk? I, I think we're past the talking phase. All right, I'm busting out the lightsaber. Lightsaber versus T-Rex. <laughs> ha! Oh, I just chopped off his leg. Oh, now I feel bad. Hey, hey, bud. Hey, you good? Ooh. He's not. He's not good. Well, we're eating T-Rex tonight. Cook him up. Oh, my gosh. What am I doing? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, uh, yep. Yum. That'll be delicious. I brought him back. I want to use the, uh, the, the... Sword that just like slices stuff in half although I kind of want to hit him with an asteroid too You know that seems very fitting for a dinosaur. Do you think I can get him? I don't know like I gotta I think I have to like lead it because he, he follows me. Oh gosh. Oh buddy 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 Oh! I just took out his his tail. Oh gosh, okay, let's just let the asteroid finish the job Going extinct. <laughs> Just uh, recreating the extinction of the dinosaurs here in Teardown. Okay, now I have to do the slicey thing. What is it? It's this one. It's, uh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There, this is the one. Okay. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. My computer is very mad at me. Understandably. That's fair. This weapon always does this. Just give it a second. Just has to work it through. It's taking a little bit longer than I uh, had anticipated. We may have broke the game. All right, so I had to restart the game, but hey, on the bright side, uh, more dinosaurs. Uh, hello. Oh, okay, yeah, no, cool. You, you, great, that's a very effective cage. Awesome. Uh, gosh. Uh, th there's a there's a jeep. Um, okay, I'm gonna get in the Jeep and try to get away from this thing. Yeah, just, uh, just go ahead and back up. Uh, maybe don't crash into the trees. Maybe don't get eaten. Maybe just go this way. All right, so, cutting dinosaurs in half with a laser katana. I guess maybe it's not possible. I don't know, but, oh, there's, there's a, uh, a raptor. I, I gotta try, though. I gotta try. Ha! Ah! Oh. Oops. All right, that was my bad. Um. Okay, I'm gonna do this again. I just. Okay. Yeah. No. That's. That's. Uh, I just. Chop the head off of a, a Velociraptor. Uh, Chris Pratt is not gonna be happy with me. That was his pet. 
This weapon is way too powerful. It's currently like cutting the entire world in half. I suspect, I mean, you can see all these trees that we've destroyed. Here's the big boy. I don't know what you're called, but I think you were from Jurassic Park 2. You're like meaner than T-Rex. You're like a genetically modified monster dino. I don't know. Anyways, I, I gotta, I gotta take him out. I don't, I guess this is the best way to go. Oh! Hey, bud. Don't attack me. Asteroid time. Why does why the dinosaur still have to move? Why you gotta keep moving? Oh. I don't think he's moving anymore. I, oh, I think I spawned more than one. I, I may have spawned more than one asteroid. <laughs> Oops. Hey. Yay! I can understand why you're upset with me. I'm gonna Kamehameha you. <laughs> so, I can go into this spawn menu, and I can spawn just about any creature that I've downloaded from the Steam Workshop. Like aliens? I can wait, like a straight up Xenomorph? Oh gosh! Oh, that is so terrifying! You, you, you're coming after me. You're gonna melt me with your acid spit. No, you're not, cause I'm Goku. Blah! What? Wait, you're okay? Oh my gosh. He actually... Oh my goodness, I don't like that. Disrupt him. What in the world is this thing? It... It's not breaking. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Can I hit you with the disintegrator? Yeah, yeah, disintegrate that. Get it. Oh. It's not disintegrating. Uh, lightsaber. Oh, no. I'm a Sith. I've made a terrible mistake. Not even Thor can stop a xenomorph. I mean, you could definitely send him flying. I'm upset. I'm so upset. I don't like that you're totally fine. I think I knocked the xenomorph off the map, but it's still alive. You think I can hit this guy with the the katana? Oh, I can't. I can't get out. All right, well, problem solved. Send him into the fourth dimension. I found this lovely, peaceful cabin. Certainly nothing bad will happen here, right? Seems very, very nice. Wow, this is great. How do I get in? <laughs> I guess I'll just use a shotgun. <laughs> That's one way to get in. Oh, wow. What's that noise? What is that? Oh! I just tried to turn the light on and the, the house kind of blew up. Also, there's a there's a strange noise. I hear a strange noise. I don't know. What is that noise? What is that? Hello? What is that? What is that? What? I don't want to be here anymore. Are you a, You're a giant snake! What are you doing? You're coming after me! No! What the heck, man? No, no. Why are you so big and angry? No, bad, bad. Get, get, just give him the light. Uh, oh my gosh, he's invincible. The, the snake, this giant snake is invincible. What is this? No, just gotta, gotta go ku him. Go ku him. It's not working. Please. Why are these things so strong? Oh, that's it. I'm getting the katana. You don't scare me. I should scare you. Ah! ah! N what? It didn't chop him in half. I hate that. Oh, good. Now he's a flying snake. Cool. No, that's that's awesome. That's really really awesome. Oh gosh, he's chasing me again. Please go away. He's not going away. Bad snake. Bad. So we've dealt with T-Rex, genetically modified dinosaurs, straight up xenomorphs, and indestructible giant snakes. What about bloop? Yeah, that's a bloop and a megalodon. Now, actually, a fellow YouTuber, Finpire, made these. You should definitely go check out his channel. I don't know how he did this, but it's very impressive. I really, really want to chop a bloop in half and see what happens. Although, I kind of want to 
see what's inside. Oh, he swallowed us. Well, this is my life now. I live in the belly of a bloop. Help. Help. Oh, gosh. I can see the light. It's slowly fading away. No. No. Wait. I'm fine. I'm fine. I just swim out. That's one of the advantages of getting eaten by Bloop. He never closes his mouth. So if you can swim faster than Bloop, you never have to worry about getting eaten by Bloop. Now I will say, it's still very unpleasant and very stinky. I kind of want to check out this Megalodon though. Can we get inside of your mouth? I think the best way to do that is to just blast out a few teeth. Oh! Oh! He didn't like that. Hey, I want to... I want to swim down. Yeah. Yeah. Can I? Oh gosh, sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm kind of sorry. I'm just, I'm trying to, okay, this is not working. Oh, why is this Megalodon split in half? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> All right, we have to do this. Take this Megalodon. There, oh my. What the heck, dude? That is so crazy. I just turned Megalodon into a sushi. Oh, we, sp we split some pieces off. Oh yeah, that's... That's a nicely cut filet of Megalodon. <laughs> All right. A few moments later. Oh, what a lovely beach. Let's go ahead and ruin it by uh, spawning Bloop. <laughs> that would be just... Terrifying. You know what? We can we can actually spawn more than one bloop. I kind of want to put bloop on dry land just so that we can see him a little bit better. I'm just gonna drop bloop right here. A beached bloop. There's nothing sadder than a beached bloop. Gosh, you're so big. I really want to chop this guy in half. Let's chop him this way first. I'm just gonna do one of these. Right here. Right down the center. Is that gonna work? Oh, I think that's gonna work. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, bloopy. Poor bloop. There's another bloop out here. I'm gonna chop this one in half right down the center, facing him directly. Go. All right. Yep, yep. That, uh, I think that did it. Oh, that definitely did it. Oh man. Oh, gosh. I gotta do the same thing to the Megalodon. There he is. Gosh, he's a big boy, too. You think that's good? I think that's pretty good. They are kind of bobbing up and down, which makes things a little interesting, but oh, gosh, that was so good. Oh, Meg. Oh, buddy. I'm so sorry. Oh, your face fell off. Sorry about that. Gosh, look at, look at this. This is so creepy, but also very cool. Well, what about space bloop? I want to see space bloop. Let's go to space. Okay. Why does my rocket have a handbrake? Anyways, we're going. Oh dear. Oh gosh. Oh, we're not going. We're not going. We we did not go. I mean, we went, but we, kind of the wrong direction. All right, let's try this again. But we're actually on flat ground now. Oh gosh. What is happening? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. I got I got you. I got you. Oh boy. Oh boy. To space. Oh, we're going to space. Oh! What? Um, all right, that's amazing. Can I get out of this thing? I mean, it seems like a terrible idea, but I kind of want to experience space now that we're here. I'm getting out. That was a bad idea, right? Space Bloop! Space Bloop, come back! <laughs> space Bloop, no! My rocket is gone. I'm stuck in space. Space Bloop just passed me by, didn't even say hello. So sad now. I lost Space Bloop, but I found this guy. Hey. 
It's a giant among us. I gotta chop him in half, right? He's an imposter. Get him. Oh, I'm so sorry. Among us. Oh, oh the game. Oh, wait. Are, are among us, are they green on the inside? He's split apart. Oh, gosh. He's so green. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Space Bloop, you're back! Oh, I missed you. I mean, mostly just because I, I want to chop you in half again. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh! All right! I think I've chopped enough stuff in half. I am thoroughly grossed out.